Go Easy by Bandmade continues our epic narratives, epic track by track, listen along. And yeah, okay, so I have to be honest, complete full disclosure, as this is a first time reaction, I have heard the first two seconds of this song. I heard the first two seconds of this song because I'm listening to it on YouTube, right? Because I was doing this before on Spotify and every time I did it on Spotify, it was crashing OBS. So I thought I'd do it on YouTube because uh, you can listen to streaming songs on YouTube. I'm sure most people know that, but just in case you didn't. Um, the thing is, is that when I went to open this, I had the adverts and then the video comes up and I'm supposed to immediately pause it and then start talking to you. But then it comes up with a little sign at the bottom blocking the button saying, do you want to get premium? It's like, no, I don't want to get premium. <laughs> you pay me, YouTube. I make content. Anyway, shall we get on to the song? Uh, yeah, so again, I hope you've been watching my track by track uh, listens to get an idea for where I'm at with the album at this point. Um, there is a playlist link below if you want to, but basically I'm really enjoying it. It's definitely of a sound though. It's definitely a feel and a vibe I'm getting to this album that I am personally really enjoying, but I am looking to see if there are sudden, sudden, sudden changes at any point in the album. And look, we've Go Easy, we're now on track 11. So there's only three more after this. So. I'm intrigued to see where it goes. It's a three minute song, it's punchy, it's short. Let's see what we get from this. Uh, this is coming just off the back of Memorable, uh, which Memorable I, I first responded to a very long time ago. So um, yeah, in the track by track playlist, that'll be a much older review. But I really enjoy Memorable, so let's see where this goes. Let's get into it. I'm just waffling now, aren't I? <laughs> Okay, we're going fast again. We haven't had a fast song in a while. This feels much more old school band mate. Definitely reminding me of a lot of other bandmates' songs. It's very, very them. I know it is, but this is reminding me a lot of another bandmate song. God, I can't remember which one it is now. Loving that solo though. That's a really cool solo. Very melodic style solo. Okay, this song has a lot of like powerful rock energy. All right, so I, this one's interesting. This is this is an interesting one. Okay, um, first things first. Uh, I have to give it props for the fact that, especially after we've had a couple of more mid-tempo songs, this really blasts in well. The, the power here is great. Flies forwards. Lot of energy. I got to be honest with you. This is really reminding me of another bandmate song. And the problem is, you know when you hear a song and it reminds you of another song and usually you'd just be able to remember the other song's name? Hearing this, 
now has blocked that out of my mind. Uh, so I'm just going to have to have a quick look and see if I could. Um, uh, um, is it freedom? Maybe, uh, maybe it's free. <laughs> uh, I don't, actually, no, I don't think it is free. Uh, look, okay, there's one song this is really reminding me of, and it's going to bug me now because I'm going to feel really weird finishing this review out saying it. But um, i trying to remember any of the lyrics or something. But uh, yeah, the, the problem is, is that for me, I really enjoyed this song as an album song, but it... God, I wish I could remember what it was. It, it reminds me so heavily of another bandmate song that it's kind of, I feel almost like... Uh, I feel almost like just listening to this, I want to swap it in with the other one, which is interesting because probably uh, there's probably enough differences that I'm not going to, it probably wouldn't be that uh, interchangeable in reality. But it's really weird when a song reminds you of the beats, the cues, maybe a lot of things about the tempo, the chord pattern. It just sounds very similar to it. <laughs> ah, I can't remember the name. Ah, OBS crashed again on me, which is just beautiful. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think I have to do something like upgrade OBS. So the recording software just crashed again. Uh, so I just took a couple of seconds to see if I could find what that song was, and I cannot find it, and that really bugs me. There is another band made song, and, it's, and I, I don't even think it's an obscure one. I think it's a pretty famous one, but for some reason I just cannot bring it to mind. So get in the comments. Let me know if you are thinking of the same one I am, and I will listen to your suggestions, and if it is the one I think it is, I'll say it. Um, and I usually don't sort of draw this sort of thing out, but I say it because for me, all the way through a song, it's really hard not to separate myself from the other song was coming into my mind. Um, but yeah, contextually on this album, it works. It does feel a little bit too like retrodden territory for me to really 100% get into it as much as I want to. But I like it for being a good, solid, rocking song. I mean, it has all of the band made qualities. You know, it has a good melody. It's a bit more hectic, which is is nice because we've had a lot of songs that have been very melodically focused. Having a song like this where everything's going a bit crazy with double kicks are coming in, the bass is running all over the place. You know, you need that. You can't, even when the album is definitely giving off a certain air, having a certain vibe, you still need the album to have like variation within it as well. Um, this is one of the interesting things. You want every album in a band's career to have its own sound, to have its own identity. But then within the album, the album's still got to be its own journey as well. So, yeah, I, 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 I got to be honest. I really just think this is a great album track. This is what the album needed. And again, like with so many other songs on here, I've said this before, the fact that it's short, sharp and short, sharp, yeah, short, sharp and sweet, um, does work really well because, you know, it gives you a little taste of that flavor, but it doesn't overly prolong it. You know, it does everything it needs to do. It does so much within the time it has and doesn't outstay its welcome. It moves you straight on to the next thing. And straight on to the next thing is where we ironically will be going. So as always, get in the comments to what you think. I'm really interested on this one. I will uh, be moving on to the next track, which uh, because I had to close the window. <laughs> I can't now see. Let's quickly find out what the name of the next track is. You guys already know this at home, so I don't know why I'm wasting your time trying to uh, find it for you. But yeah, the next track that I'll be listening to after Go Easy is oh, Toy et Moi. When I was talking to Orange, we had like a, a talk about, and I think he mentioned this one because it has a French name. So. <laughs> Yay! All right, we'll be going. This is the French one next. So I expect to hear Bandmade singing in French. And until I hopefully see you on that video very soon here in Japan, for now. Ciao, ciao.